So as you guys know, or any of my Genshin players know, the Tavat chapter interlude trailer just came out the other day. With that trailer came a more child, whoa, hold on, more uh, Tartacula voice lines for um, the Fatui Harbingers. So people have compiled a video of all the voice lines. So we're gonna go over that and kind of, you know, understand a little bit more about the Harbingers themselves. He was the first ever Fatui Harbinger. And today he's our leader. He only appears on important occasions. As for his accomplishments, to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> I owe my loyalty and devotion to the Tsuritsa, no one else. Well, aside from being the very first uh, Fatui Harbinger and, you know, being the leader now, don't really know too much about him so far. Um, Child doesn't really say much about him, but he de definitely does not care about him, you know, in terms of in comparison to the Tsuritsa. When I first saw him, he kind of looked a bit generic to me. Because, like, you know, the mask and you can't see anything on his face. And, you know, he seems like he'd be, you know, like an important enemy, but one that has a very simple look, you know. He looks cool, though. Don't get me wrong. As far as the information that Child gives us, he didn't really say much besides that he's very strong and he, he has yet to observe Child's skills. So I heard that he took segments of himself at different ages, made prostheses out of them, and assigned different tasks to each one. Yeah. I know. All my comrades are a little weird. <laughs> well, come to think of it, if I met my own prosthesis, ha, we'd have to fight then and there to decide which one of us gets to survive. That's interesting, though. I did read a lot of the manga, and um, yeah, he definitely did do that. That's I, I'm very interested to see like how that's gonna play out within the storyline of all his clones and whatnot. So, the Fatui Harbingers are ranked by strength, and I have no idea why that girl is number three. I oh. test my skills with every harbinger who ranks above me if I had the chance. But when it comes to her, something just doesn't feel right. And oh, I, I like that. Hold on. Anyway, you should be careful around her. Yeah, I like that, though, because that that makes for an interesting story. So she's ranked third in terms of strength when it comes to the harbingers. She's definitely dangerous and child wants no part of her. So. Columbina. I've got nothing Alicia against now? people who have their own agendas. I myself joined the Fatui to get more experience in combat. But I don't like her at all. If she stood to benefit from betraying others, she'd turn against the Tsuritsa in a heartbeat. There isn't a sane bone in her body. Dang. A couple points there I want to mention. Um, supposedly she runs an orphanage. It's, it's called like the something of hearts, I think, I think. And at first I was thinking like, oh, that's nice. You know, like she does, you know, she runs an orphanage, you know? But then I realized, you know, exactly why she was running it. And oh my God, it's awful. So I do agree. She probably is insane, but you know, she seemed pretty calm, cool and collective in, in the trailer. I don't know what his motivations could be, but he seems genuine about wanting to help me. He treats me just like family. Oh, and speaking of family, Tonya and Tusa are always telling me about the pastries and other gifts he brings them when they write. Oh. So while I've been away from Snezhnaya, he's kept his promise to take care of my family. Wow, man. Okay, well, I, I was going to say something about Child and his family uh, earlier, but now that he said that, okay, that's a bit, a bit different. She always seems engrossed in her research. Hmm, I wonder if those machines have anything to do with her. Anyway, I've Probably. only met her a few times, but every time she looked like she wanted to murder me. <laughs> I have no idea what I possibly could have done to annoy her, though. You're just being yourself. That's what it is. I, I hate child. Oh, now that guy has a head full of grandiose plans fueled by raw ambition. I don't understand a word he says once he starts talking <laughs> about his theories. Oh. Eh, but as long as he keeps our cash reserves stocked up, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I never got along with her. You know that. I guess there's not much more worth saying about her at this point. When you're a harbinger, you have to accept that death could come at any time. But yeah. Don't worry about me. No matter what happens, I'll do whatever it takes to keep myself alive. Will you now? After he took the Gnosis, we lost all contact with him. Oh, now comes shoot. the task of trying to hunt it down and get it back. I actually don't mind it. It means I get to travel all over. Wonder if I'll run into you somewhere along the way. Oh, so he's like, he's gone rogue. It seems like he's like off on his own. 
so yeah interesting thing about about all this um i was thinking that uh child was just kind of leaving his family on their own you know and i thought that was like a, a, a bad thing for him to do but i guess the fatui are taking care of his family so i did not realize that but it's very interesting though i wonder if these i guess he's like just came out you know after this trailer but yeah child just has that you know my first time seeing him he was like so nice he had such a nice like you know calming voice and everything so i didn't think he was going to be you know one of the harbingers you know or evil so to speak right but yeah i mean he just he just has that that type of voice where it's like you just wouldn't think he'd be evil you know everyone else here all the other fatui harbingers absolutely they all look you know a little less inviting if i will say this guy seems you know not too mean i would assume motivations but could be yeah it's definitely a lot to learn here um child doesn't say too much about them in terms of like information about them goes but he did give us a bit of a, a hint on all their personalities and i do wonder what they'll do to scaramouche when they find him again i didn't realize he like took it and ran off I, I thought you know that he was like still working with them but in the trailer they mentioned that as well and yeah so hopefully we get to see scaramouche again soon i'm not sure how many harbingers we'll see in sumeru but after this trailer i mean who knows man i was that's a pretty big trailer then again the first trailer showed dane slab talking about all of the regions so that trailer could not mean anything for the near future and rip senor i thought she was gonna survive maybe possibly but it looks like she's officially gone yeah she's definitely gone for now i hope we get that catalyst that she had one day possibly maybe and it makes me think they like scrape up the ashes from what's the name of the place again Tenchukaku. Tenchukaku. I wonder if like Kujosara let the harbingers in or like one of them in to like scrape up the ashes of her and put it in the coffin. I don't know. But either way, I'm actually kind of sad to see her go. She, of course, she was evil, but you know, she kind of went out pretty quickly. And also the, the, the character design was really cool too. So to see her gone officially does kind of hurt but you know it is what it is and obviously i just cannot wait to see these characters like in game hopefully at some point soon at least one of them maybe you know but that being said this is so hype the trailer was so good and i hope you guys enjoyed that let me know in the comments if there's anything that you picked up on when it comes to the trailer or this video itself or what child has to say but that will do it for me and i will catch you guys in the next one